Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Dragon's Dogma 2. We are here in the capital city of Burnworth. We just slept through the night. I did some inventory management, and we are going to set out for the day. It's a brand new day. These two just startled me, Pearl and Orange. We may be saying goodbye to them, even though they are just so cool looking. Seriously, some of the coolest looking pawns that we've seen so far. But anyway... While the pawns kind of jibber jabber, we are going to do a few things. I said we were going to check vocations, and we are. But before we do that, I noticed that a couple of the armor pieces that I had with Silverius might actually be better than what he has if I just improve them a little bit. So we're going to focus on that right now. So we're going to enhance our equipment. Let's see. Friar's Hood. I could increase that a little bit. Let's take a look at Silverius. So Silverius... Right now, he's using the Howling Hood with three upgrades, and it's at 328 defense, whereas the Elysian Oxide Hood starts at 322 with no improvement. So only a six-point difference, but if it only goes up a few at a time. But let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade this, kind of make him an Executioner style. Minotaur Horn gets it up to 330. That surpasses it. And we can go full-fledged with 334. Let's do it. And then also he has the Malorian plate with two upgrades currently sitting at 426 defense. The plate armor oh, is, is a massive, massive difference. So no, we won't touch that. But what about the Bandit Greaves? Bandit Greaves is at 334, whereas his Lionel Hosen is 350 with no upgrades. I'm going to try and see if we can surpass it because I think these look cooler. Scrap iron, good. Dappled ore. We don't have any doubt. So that's 342 as opposed to the 350. Plus it has better elemental. So I don't think we'll actually change that out, which is a shame. Is there anything else, though, that might be kind of cool? I'm thinking probably... No oh, what is... Wait a minute. What is guardian plate? Hmm, no. I don't have to get it exact, but I would like to try and get it close. But it doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, never mind. So we'll have to dump out a little bit, but we're at least giving him a new helmet. And I do like the lupine look, but I am curious to see what he looks like as an executioner. So, Silverius. Oh, I really like the way that looks with the lupine cloak. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he is a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. All right, real quick. Let's just take a look at you to see if you've changed at all. A 5% discount. I wonder why that is. Is that just something that happens periodically, like they hold sales? Or has my reputation with him increased? I haven't really given him any good gifts. Not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. That is all right. So let's go ahead and cancel. Next up. <clears throat> Next up, Orange. Um, you folks are wonderful, but we're going to have to bid you adieu. I want to find some people with pawn quests. I also want to find people with some quest knowledge. So I am going to simply say Pearl. Thank you so much for your time. I'll give you something good to go with. How about a Harspud Roborant? I didn't bring anything good. You can actually give Seekers tokens. That's fascinating. Do you want a Ring of Tenacity? You know what? Take a Ring of Tenacity. You look so cool. Oh, Orange. Where are you, friend? Ugh. Oh. The goofiest, lankiest cat I've ever seen. You get a port crystal. I'm kidding. You don't get a port crystal. Do you want a jail key? Or do you want a ring of re take a ring of resolution? Yeah. I thank you for the chance to hone my swords. Oh, you're so welcome. You were you were great, and I hope your owners enjoy that. So, what are we looking for? I still would like a mage who can heal, and I would like an archer. In fact, I can give them that really cool bow we found, plus load them up on a bunch of special arrows. So let's do that. Let's do advance. We're going to keep it. I'm, I'm cheap. I'm going to go completely free. And we're going to look for mage 
and archers. Okay, quest knowledge, I would like yes. And let's bring them on in. So various help me pick. We're going to be looking at, oh, speedster. Hello, speedster. Tell me about yourself. For combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. No I'll pawn quest and no quest guide. Why is, why is that set to no? Okay, Chris. A well-organized pack is my speciality. I'll see to Defeat the Cyclops, get two gold ore. Hold on. Still no quest guy, but still, that's pretty cool. And let me see, can I look at your... Is there any way to look at gear? Is that the bow that I'm trying to give away, too? I guess there is no way to look at gear, huh? You are a maxed out archer, though. With some pretty cool... Yeah, you're coming along. Let's go kill the Cyclops together. And then we have Mimi. Rick? Rick's looking pretty decked out. Ooh, Flecken. What is that helm? Sorry, I already have an archer, though. Oh, Shadow. You're looking pretty cool. No pawn quest? No. I need to have at least a quest or a guide. If you don't have either, then uh, it's just not going to work out. Here's a little tip. If you want your pawns to be hired, looks may not be everything, and we don't judge a book by its cover, but stand out from the crowd. Have them look unique in some way, shape, or form. That's what's going to draw their attention first. Hmm. Did we already talk to Rick? I don't think we, we talked to Rick. To to your your Defeat Cyclops, get a bunch of flowers? Okay, you know what? Let's just double check, make sure we've got... You are not a maxed out mage, you're only a rank 4. You started out as a fighter. I would like a little bit more boom. Melly, what are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Receive a golden trove beetle for 2,000 gold. Okay. And you are a maxed out mage. That's what we're talking about. Okay, let's hire. The next time we find a golden trove, we'll be sure that we save it for Mally. Okay, so we have our party. Next, <laughs> all things I could have done off camera, but some of these things I feel like you all want to see. Am I wrong? I don't know. But we're going to go take a look at our skills. We've gone up, I think, two vocation ranks since we last checked in. We also have a couple of Seekers tokens, which probably means we're going to get those daggers finally. Not yet. One more to get us the Dowsing Spikes. Which, you know what? I want to test that out at some point because they do glow, which is really cool. Okay, new Augments. Opulence. Increases gold obtained when acquiring gold pouches. I think that's important. So let's purchase that, and what do we want to switch it out for? Subtlety is still probably good. Gratification, I do like getting a little bit of health, kind of the Ring of the Evil Eye from the Soul series. Reduces the stamina consumed when struggling in a foe's grip. That might go. I think Vigor is good. Verve is good. Conveyance might not be that important. In fact, let's leave Poise. Let's give it a Conveyance. Get a little bit more money anytime we loot. That winding cut spins the duo spear forward, whirling and slashing through targets without pause. Repeatedly pressing the activation button spins the duo spear faster. <gasps> yep. That's just a core skill, so why not? Okay, so Dragoon Stab becomes Dragoon's Foin. It allows you to travel farther and causes the forceful jab to inflict magic damage as well. Awesome. That's an immediate yes. Seishing Blade becomes Seishing Storm. An advanced form that conjures a greater number of blades, a decreased cost of stamina. I think this is just really good for staggering, but let's do it. Humble Offerings becomes Devout Offerings. Extended range allowing targets to be lifted from further away is so cool. That's a yes. And then Theft Sound we already had. That saps the stamina, but then we get... Ooh, wait a second. Sky Dragon's Fang Tooth darts swiftly into the air before plunging down to high speed, inflicts greater harm when evading a target's attack. 
Oh, that might replace Seixing Storm. I can't get rid of Mirror Vesture. That's just too good. And then Unto Sky. Launches smaller targets, greater distances. <laughs> what did I just see? What did I just see? <laughs> Launches smaller targets, great distances, forcibly removing them from battle. Launch targets grant no experience and drop no items, but larger targets are not launched, but struck with a solid blow. Oh, no. We need to try both of these. Okay, here's what we're doing. We're getting rid of Seixing Storm for now. Unto Sky, at least for now, Mirror Vesture, it kills me to get rid of you. But we're doing it. But we're doing it. Okay. <laughs> this this is going to be something this is going to be something all right real quick we're just going to stop by the inn drop off a couple of items and then we'll talk about what we are going to do today and by that i mean i'm going to figure it out because i haven't decided yet all right so you're nice and light you are going to drop off your hood we're keeping the port crystal on us we are going to drop off the plate armor and the bandit greaves for now Okay, that looks good. I did give him a couple of salubrious drafts. Oh, we need to get... Chris, what are you rocking? The Veteran's Arc is 351. Okay. And then, Mally, you're using a Solar Newman. Let's take a look and see if we can do better than that. So, Chris... Fluted Bow, My Fear. Oh, no. Huge downgrade. Darn. Okay. That's disappointing. But I can give you a bunch of arrows. Let's see. I have 49 explosive arrows. Uh, we'll give you... We won't give you 49. We'll give you 20. There we go. And then Mally, you are using the Solar Newman... The Kryos Tyne, oh, is only for Sorcerer. Never mind. So I can't do anything for you. Okay, that's all right. You know where to find me. Perfect. So I don't want to head back to the Checkpoint Rest Town yet, although that's going to be kind of the next quest progression. But I'm not ready yet. I still want to explore. And let's see... Hmm... Oh, wow. The excavation site. How do I get back there? Oh, wait a second. Oh, from the checkpoint rest town. Okay. There's a lot of ocean. It seems like a huge map, but then you realize that most of it's just water. So do we want to take an ox cart to Melv? Because we talked about this before and then going back into the Malachite Forest because this is an interesting little dealy. Plus is all this north of Melv too? Yeah. I think it's just another exploration episode. So if that's not your cup of tea, um, I totally understand. But I would like to just continue to see what there is to offer out in the wilderness. We were talking on Discord just earlier today. Again, link in the description. Everyone is welcome to join. As long as you are into some family-friendly discussion on amazing games. But we were talking about whether or not the game really gets you out to see everything. And it doesn't seem like it does. Oxcarts bound for the checkpoint rest town. Uh, so no, thank you. I don't want to go to checkpoint rest town. So in that case, where is the other ox cart? Okay, over by the guardhouse. So just uh, head to the north, north and east a little bit. But we were talking about whether or not the game really gets you out and sees everything. And it certainly doesn't seem to be the case. It very well could in the later game. But Dragon's Dogma 1... There were several areas where you would never, ever go to unless you got off of the beaten path and went and explored for yourself. And I have a feeling that not only is that here in Dragon's Dogma 2, but I think it's even more so. I believe this game really wants you to just go and see for yourself other than just relying on quest objectives to get you there. Wait, wait, wait. I'll need to say some coin before I let 100 gold. Absolutely. And I don't know how all of you feel about the fast travel. Normally, if I wasn't recording, I likely wouldn't be using it, at least not as often as I do. But the fact is, 
if I ran everywhere, while it would be really fun for me, it would eventually grow very, very tedious for the rest of you. Hey, we got a Cyclops. Perfect. All right. Lantern on. So. That was our Dragoon's Fane. Do I have anything to lift? Okay. Knock him down, knock him down. Let's do a little unto sky, see what happens. <laughs> not, not great. But if I go over to his head, maybe that'd be cool. Let's try it again. Right here, ready? Come on, come on, make it happen. Not, not phenomenal actually. But still pretty cool. And just keep tapping. And we'll just keep spinning. And Cyclops down. That takes care of that quest. Fantastic. Take that rugged bone. Take a couple of gold ore pieces. Thank you much. I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Mm, we'll pass for now, Silverius, but thank you. Also, it is really nice that the ox carts, they can get stopped. They can be ambushed. It, it lends an error of realism to it, but also it, you know, makes fast travel a little bit more dangerous, at least in that respect. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to Dudley. Dudley always has some cool stuff. Fulminous shield. Ring of regeneration. Ooh, this could pair nicely with my skill. Do we want it? Maybe. Let's buy it all. Why not, right? <laughs> That'd probably be silly. Order, please. Hope to see you again. So right now I have boost strength and boost magic, but I kind of think... What do I want to replace it with? Boosting strength? Let's do that. I think magic might be more important right now, so let's equip that on the right hand. And then, let's see, boost strength. Should we give one of these to Mally? I don't actually know what Mally is wearing. Let's see. Oh, only one ring. And just ring of cooling. Oh, wait, no, not Mally. Excuse me. I wanted to give that to Chris. Chris, who has ring of accrual and ring of proximity. Oh, so you're just a close quarter archer, which is interesting. But uh, I think you could actually utilize that. So let's do ring of aggression. Give to Chris. Chris, we're going to switch out your Ring of Accrual. And that's okay. You can go home with that. That's fine. Ring of Aggression and Ring of Resolution. What is Silverius using? Ring of Aggression and Ring of Vehemence, which I think is good. I want him to stagger. Okay, so that that works. Yes. Our packs are heavier and our purse is far lighter. I am happy with that. So, what is our plan from here? We are going to go north. And then northwest. And as soon as we come to a major crossroads, we're going to go west into this unknown territory. Very expensive, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. Okay, Sky Dragon's Fangtooth. Why am I forgetting what that is already? Oh, that's right. And we're going to use that to avoid enemy attacks for even more damage. Very, very cool indeed. So it seems like the Unto Sky would probably be best for, say, knocking down big appoint opponents. But I also wonder if I get any sort of poise or hyper armor during that, because if I'm surrounded by goblins and I want to just send them all flying, that's going to be hilarious. If and only if I can get it off, though. Please don't fall. Hmm. 
I see a cave over there. And I see a forgotten riftstone or broken riftstone. And how do I... How do I get to it, though? Okay, let's, uh, let's explore this a little bit. Because there is a path... That ladder looks promising. A ladder? Down from above. Oh, we have to you say we have to knock it down? Oh yes we do. A mundane camping kit, come on. Well, sorry Silvarius, but you're getting that, friend. And then we'll just we gotta start selling this stuff. I don't think we need all of these camping kits. All right, well, let's just keep on moving over then. It's a shame as an archer you can't just target those and knock them down from afar. You know, it's funny. The Sky Dragon's Fangtooth is going to be very similar to the, the Masterful Kill with the Thief, something that I'm sure I will never perfect. <laughs> Alright, ready? Unto Sky. Don't kill him. I want to send him flying. Oh, he bounced off a tree. And it didn't kill him. How How did it not? Alright, ready? Sky Dragon Fangtooth is still incredible, even if you don't use it to avoid. And another vocation rank up already. That is what I'm here for. Okay, we got a camp. We don't need the modest camping kit. Okay? We don't need it. And we can immediately start climbing, but I don't think that I can Curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire I don't think that I can uh get high enough. Alright, ready? Here we go. Oh, see look! They just stop you every chance they get. Let's fling them. That is hilarious. Yep. This is the best vocation there ever was. I will not be taking any further questions. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Oh, that's going to get me killed. Oh, we got a nest here. That's a Seeker's token. Awesome. I like the idea of the harpies picking them up. Where's the chest? What? Oh, it's going to be up there. Uh, right. I guess we'll have to loop around for that. Ooh. Little shack in the middle of nowhere. Oh, coin pouch where I get extra gold. Love that. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Ooh, ornate chest. These always get me excited. Logistician? What does that mean? What, who just got logistician? And what does that even mean? Status. Let's look at Silvarius. Was that a specialization or an inclination? Chris, you are a, a lot. A, the pawn who acquires a skill gains the initiative to combine materials and move items between allies' path. Is that what he just did? Did he just move stuff around? Hmm... I don't know how much I love that. Chris, do you have a cape? Do you want one? Are oh, you wearing this Shade Walker's neck wrap? All right. Yeah, logistician makes me a little bit mm, maybe don't. 
just take stuff out of my pack. But that's just me. Oh my. Watch it, watch it! Let's do it again. Ready? Go! Whoa! I feel like that was just... I feel like that was just a coincidence that that ice just happened. Unless I did that because I avoided an attack. Alright, so we got a Golden Trove Beetle that we can give to our friend here. Oh, that's a one-way. This is... Rather thrilling. So if I loop around to the east, that should go to that slippery slope. Got some more friends here. Ready? Unto Sky. Goodbye. No, no, no. Stay here. I don't, I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, stamina. Thank you, Chris. The stamina usage is pretty high. Oh, getting into some dark forest here. What do we got? Cyclops? Alright, ready? That wasn't that great. Okay, let's see if we can't knock him down with this. Especially since he just started teetering. Oh! We almost did. Okay, start attacking those legs. He's gonna jump. Somehow that didn't hit me. I honestly don't know how. Okay, do we have any uh, corpses I can throw at him? No? Now we do. <laughs> no, no, no. Now we've got wolves, because why not? Heads up. Oh, big squash. Oh, I'm being dragged away. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone help? Now, you used to be able to just absolutely wiggle the crud out of your analog stick in order to escape, but it doesn't seem like that is true anymore. Come on now. Bring him down. Oh, don't forget Redoubted Bolt. Not that I think that's going to work on a Cyclops. Probably one of my worst Cyclops kills since the very beginning. Oh, I got a wizard's hat. Hey, Mally, do you want a wizard's hat? What are you wearing? Serpentine circlet, 135. Okay. And that is 143. Oh, Mally. That's a reduction. Never mind. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this forgotten Riftstone. And let's take a quick look at where we are at. Oh, we're going way further north than I thought. Wow, I didn't even real. It looks like that doesn't necessarily go anywhere. Wait a minute, no, that that's the ladder that we found that we couldn't get to. So it seems like Maybe there's, there isn't a way to go west? Alright, I guess we're exploring just north today. 
That's the way it seems, at least. Well, we'll skirt the northernmost border of the map. Who got drenched and when? Severus, you don't leave any for the rest of us. And that's not a complaint. It's just an observation. Hello, cave. So what might this be? The Mountain's Secret. Coolest name for a cave that I've ever seen. What's down there? Oh, it's a, it's a slime. Oh, that is that going to explode? It sure is. Oh, boy. We're going to have to be careful here. I wish I had some long-distance magic. You have my protection. Can I still use this in a cave, even though it's so... Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm stuck. Help. 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 It's just slowly sapping my health. Um, I think that's... Yeah, that's going to cause that. Nice. A very level 32. Oily slime. That's new. All right, let's do left wall this time, which is just a dead end. Peculiar, peculiarly, pe pe peculiarly, is that a word? Strangely enough. All right, help out folks. I can't move, I can't move. Mally, you're going to be doing all of the work here. Unfortunately. What do we have? Threshing Blaze. And what is... What is this exclamation mark that you're telling me about? What manner of traps have been set to ensnare us, I wonder? I don't know. I really haven't Your seen traps any traps. If we watch each other's backs. I'm not really sure what you saw. Why do I feel like there's more to this cave than meets the eye? I've never seen a cave so far with so many dead ends. Oh, this is a bad one. Guys, go ahead and start attacking while I loot. Yeah, I'm not really sure what you're all doing. Yeah, I can't do anything. Help! Help! <laughs> Whatever tip you need, I shall gladly oblige. My pawns are doing just a really bad job in this cave at navigating. Yikes. This is just, just a big yikes. Oh boy, going further down into the mountain. Seems like... Oh, ornate chest. Okay. I'm just going to cast Redoubted Bolt. Does next to nothing, but... Boy, I came in here ill-prepared. Give me something fascinating. No, we killed soft neck wrap. I think that's what I'm wearing. It is no great shock to me. Is 
Is there another slime up above? Oh. Okay, before we go down, well, let's let's just explore all the offshoots. Yeah, how weird. What is that little sack of grains that someone brought in? Obviously, it's a sack of grains that someone brought in. I will be bringing this since it's my, my only form of damage. I will protect you. I'll deal with it. Watch out. Thank you, Silverius. I appreciate that. Okay, that's another big explosion, but I can't... Okay, let's throw... Throw some boulders. Even though physical damage does absolutely nothing. Good, clean kill. Okay, let's keep following the whole left path motif. I don't think I want to be here. Mistakes were made. Oh, Mally. Mally's in trouble. And now I'm in trouble. Hey, they don't do much damage, but... Boy, are they miserable. I can't do anything! Oh, Mally. Mally's gonna die. Oh, no. What do I... Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just wait on this, because we do have, I think, a tome, don't we? Rushing Blaze. Hi, Salamander. Let's use it. Quickly. You're going to explode. That works. Oh, and an explosive barrel. What? Darn it. Oh, but he's burning in the fire. Oh, hi, Salamander. Lasts a long time. Okay, I'm going to revive. You all take care of that slime if you can. Nope, no, nope. Mally, get out! There we go, there we go. Finish it off, finish it off. Ah! I'll just bring this with us then. Can I loot while I carry? No. Release. By the skin of our teeth. That, yeah, that's accurate. To destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. And, wow, still going down. There's going to be something cool down here, I know it. It's the mountain secret, after all. An astounding discovery. Favored flower. Tell me more. That is a mage. Is that better than what you have, Mally? Almost certainly not. 522, no. Nope. Imbued with the fear and awe felt when ancient peoples, when witnessing the moon eclipse the sun. I'm going to give this to Mally just so I can compare it more directly. No, what a, what a huge decrease. Such a thing escapes my master's notice entirely. Yeah, well, your master uh, probably didn't even know anything about the mountain secret. I don't know where that sloshing is coming. There it is. I've got this one. You're welcome. And look, another one. Place down. Grab the slime. Where to go? All right, just a mining spot. Sure. But it looks like the, the cave does exit somewhere coming up. I like the idea of some parts of the map being completely locked out unless you go through a big cave system. Am I stand... Oh, I'm just standing in water. Yeah, it's like we're going down to the base of the mountain.
Okay. Here's the exit. The sky is radiant this night. I'm just carrying around an explosive barrel. I love it. Is that you say? Oh, wait a second. Look at what we just did. Okay. And we're just north of the Border Watch outpost. That's pretty cool. Now, is this where we began our trek? Should we make our way there? Because remember, that's where the Griffin landed. And it looked like, or they said something about how it was going to take them a while to clear that rubble. Let's do it. Let's head east. In fact, we could probably just, as much as we can, go due east instead of trying to follow the path. Oh, maybe not, though. Because I can't see that far down. Okay, it's not... Ooh, it's not too far. Except it does keep going. Abandoned dwelling with a Seeker's token. That's going to give us our new daggers. Alright, Chris, what'd you just find? Harpy Snare Smoke Beacon, or Bacon, as I have one to say. Boy, we haven't been here in a while. We have not been here in a while. Maybe we should stop in, see if anything's changed. Gosh, our adventure here was... 20-something hours ago. It would actually be pretty cool if there were some quests here that you would just n completely miss out on if you never return. It's true, Mally. You're not wrong. Good luck. He brooks no chatter with us during training. And makes for home the second our drills are done. I'm not quite sure where his house is, though I've gathered tisn't near here. Doubt he'd tell me, even if I asked. Here in Vermont, pawns are revered as servants of the Arisen. Right, right. So who might have something to share? I best head home. I'm happy with our life. No? How about you just standing there, right by the inn? Might you be looking to enlist? Not even a little. Okay. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. Tis good to be busy. Work begets opportunity. Tell you what, though. We did level up. Oh, we even got a new augment. Polarity. Augment your strength during the day and your magic at night. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's get it, and let's switch it out for subtlety. Let's do subtlety. Oh, mirror shell. Oh, an advanced form that extends each barrier's duration as well as the effective range when casting. That's amazing. But also we got uh, Sky Dragon's Fest, an advanced form that caused the dive attack to inflict magic damage as well. 100%. Um, I'm going to be honest, Unto Sky is not... Uh, it's cool. And I think this is why so many people choose this vocation, but what is it? Magic Sparapolari? Sparapolot? This thing. Uh, fires the magic stored within the Duo Spirit in a high speed blast, consumes stamina while ready readying Duo Spirit to fill with magic, inflicting harm relative to the amount of stamina consumed. Yes, that we need. I'm going to switch that out for Unto Sky. Yeah, I I like this. Ugh. I love Devout Offrange, but if we go against any really tough foes, having the Mirror Vesture is going to be key, but that's good enough. Do come again. I have a modest talent for spotting... Oh, sorry, I wrecked. Nope. No, thank you. This ladder what are you all killing over there, by the way? How about the blacksmith? Anything... Excellent find. Well met. 
Wouldn't that be funny if you actually had some of, like, the best gear in the game? Y you don't, of course. Always a pleasure. But that'd be pretty cool if you did. Alright, so what's the plan? We are going to be heading north and then east. We could sleep for the night. But where's the fun in that, huh? We just got polarity. So now our magic is actually augmented for the evening. I love it. I love that this is what, episode 22, 23, something like that? Maybe 21. And we are only now heading back to where it all began. Not truly where it all began, mind you. Oh, Saurians. Because, well, frankly, that is the excavation site that I don't know how to get to. But still, it's very exciting. Unless, do we want to hug the shore? Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Mm, okay, it's still shallow. Oh, not not shallow enough. Not shallow enough. And I dealt. Melly, Melly. On another note, I did Chris, we just watched Melly die, and you just said. Is a fascinating vocation and an enticing one too. Few who tried As to Mally's dying to the Brian, Chris says, on another note, we should probably get another sorcerer. Oh, Mally. Gone too soon. And yes, I should go back to the outpost. But we'll do that in due time. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Ah. Sorry, Mally. Should have favorited you too, so we... Ultramarine Waterfall. What a cool name. Is there something I can... Is there something I can do here? Because the path just kind of ends here. Oh, wait a minute. This is the cave. This is the cave that was blocked by the griffin. And of course, we're going in. Party member down. I never would have Waterfall cave. Okay, we got some goblins. Tell you what, let's, uh, let's give this a go. I'm going to hit a rock. That's really cool. There is potential, I think, for a lot of damage. All right, I see Saurian's eggs. Anywhere, wear every shadow and mind the ceiling. Be sure to keep your wits about you. Ready? Let go. Did I hit anything? Oh, these are asps. Alright. Doing some decent damage, though. I love it. I, I love it. This is, uh... Yeah. This is a cool vocation. Interesting that there's seemingly no Saurians or Asps in here. I don't want to go into that deep water. Ready? Good kill. Now the is too late. 
Good. Oh, this feels wrong doing it without Mally. Yeah, I do see something glinting up there. Is that a secret? No, that's money. So 670 gets us 703. Okay, so that's what? Uh, 10%? 10% increase? I don't want to drop down yet. I want to be thorough here. Of course, I'm not being systematic. Systematic and thorough should always go hand in hand. Okay. I see some asps. Tell you what, let's get this ready. Let's do like a full, full blast. Ready? Did next to nothing. Oh! Get the tail. There's the tail. Boy, these things are tough. Okay, from behind, get the tail. Oh, careful. Get up. It's not really doing it for me. I have? Okay. That should be okay. I need to get the tail, though. See? What is he doing? Wow. That's a... That was a challenge. Oh, we don't have a healer. I do have lots of salubrious drafts, though. Okay. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go for the tail. Is it just that my magic isn't high enough? Well, that was good. Masterfully done. Thank you. That actually felt pretty good. Some pity ward. Does, does this normally grow in caves? What do we have there? Oh, oh, careful, careful. Logistician. Okay, so anytime that pops up, and we don't have Matt. Um, I do have magic. That almost kills him. Oh, get out, get out. Who's down? Silverius, what happened to you? Oh, come on, let me out, let me out. Oh, thankfully, that spell is really good. For a moment, I thought I'd met my end. No, no, you're okay. Oh, my thanks to you, Arisen. Oh, gosh. This cave is huge. What did I just see? I just saw eyes. Oh, careful. Oh, there's another one. Get that tail. And finish him off. Triangle attack. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not being very thorough. Oh, Silverius. Did you already use all of your... You did. Uh, okay. I can give you another one. Just one for now. Do I have anything to combine? Oh, 
And I don't. This could be bad. We have reached our destination. Yet I fear our, our destination for what? I mean, we got green warish. That's good. Let us delve as far as we are able. So very says the right attitude. Salubrious draft. Okay. So, no offense, Chris, but I'm taking that. Where did you? Oh, he's poisoned. That's why. Do we have? All right, let's give that to Silverius. And we're going to have to give him another another heal. i uh, tell you what, let's do Acquired Newest. I don't have anything I can combine. I'm going to give another one to Silverius. Curatives are our only recourse in the absence of a mage. Moving on from this discussion for now. What is up with this cave, though? Detoxifying decoction, that's good. I just used one. Well, Silverius just used one. Okay, this might finally be connecting to the main system. We have found a material. Oh, they're so much easier to kill this time around. Oh, we have an exit. I just about breathed my fill of stagnant air. And where, pray tell, are we? Wait. Dark depths take their toll on the spirit. This isn't the main entrance, though. It's just above it. All right, let's go back in. Let's go back in. I would like to see... Where this spits out. It seems like most caves have a secondary exit. No harm in picking a few. Well, we haven't gone down yet. Or is there a down? Is it just water? Oh. It's just water. Never mind. So let's see. Did we go... We didn't really go to the left. That was the main... There's still some up there. Let's go... Let's go to the left here. Oh, careful now. Is it because of the water? You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. Oh, if we get... Oh, no, okay. It does drop off, so you can't just keep going. I don't need the fish, but what do we have here? 157 gil. Worth it. Okay. So then... What's our next place to check out? Following that canyon to the east, right? This might be a little bit more up there, but probably not a whole lot. In fact, I don't have to go up here. Because this is the ravine that kind of cuts through the whole thing. I just feel like there's got to be a little bit more to this place. Especially because chances are you're not coming back here right away. He's gonna spit, he's gonna spit, he's gonna spit. That, wow. Not much happens when you attack them head on, huh? We better start helping out. Bling you. Alright. 
You're not poisoned, are you? No, but you're so low on health. What does pity work become, anyway? I know I've used it, I just haven't... ...paid attention. Okay, slime. Another one. That is so useful that I can do that now. Forty-seven hundred gold. That's not terrible. All right, dead end here. Probably gonna go a couple minutes over. I'd like to try and finish this cave if we can. I don't know. What? What's in here? What is it? A gore chimera approaching. A gore chim out, out, out. We can't. We cannot do this. No. No. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We'll come back. We'll come back. We will come back. This is not where I meant to go. But it can't come this way, right? Right? Oh! He's right there! No! This way! This way! What? Oh! How do we get out of here? He trapped us. Uh, yeah, I agree, but... Alright, I'm just gonna try this, see what happens. Full board stamina. Did I even hit it? I mean, Chris is just taking pot shots at it, which is hilarious. I don't even think I'm hitting it. I think I'm too far away. We must rally. No, we need to run. Run. Okay. We'll come back. We'll come back with a full party. A Gore Chimera. That's exciting. Oh, gosh. Why does this just keep going? How do I escape? <laughs> what? What's the purpose of this? You don't even put in, like, a... Oh, never mind. That's why. No few times an overconfident step... A fairy stone that you can't use inside. I dare say, that's part and parcel of the adventurer's trade. Maybe there's another... Exit! That is the greatest investment I've made so far. Cannot see. Oh, Silverius, you're so hurt. Back up, back up. There's two of them. And that was both. Folks, this cave keeps going. I was not prepared for this. Not at all. We're going to have to wrap up inside the cave. What did I just hear?
What is going on? Oh, what? Oh, we're in trouble. We're in more trouble than I thought. Okay, move. All right, I do have fruit robe wrench. That's good. Help, help. <laughs> oh, these guys are tough. He's got a little sling. Wow. Um, how are my friends faring? Good, I hope. I am grateful to you. You can cheer up. Good kill, good kill. Wow. Why are these enemies so, so tough? <laughs> We're gonna have to wrap up in a cave. I, I should have just headed for the exit, but. No, no, you're doing fine. But we're gonna be we're gonna be in a lot of trouble though if we keep pushing this too far. So what do I do? Keep pushing it. What if we run out of lantern oil too? And look, another branching path. I see light though. I see light. Wait, do I see light or do I see? What? What is glowing? Go for the tail. Good. Is that a harpy? What is this? What is this? Chris, I thought maybe I would, uh... Where are the Saurians? Go in for Threshing Blaze? Sorry. That was pretty cool that I just avoided that attack. Look at that chest. I know that Chris is poisoned. <gasps> Who's down? Silverius is down. Nope. Nope, I'm poisoned now. This is bad. I need to... I need to try to go for his tail. There we go. Oh boy. Okay, I think after we clear this room, we're gonna we're gonna have to call it apart. This is horrifying, but what? Please tell me there's something good in this. Our are you serious? That's a duel. Oh, gosh. Run, 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 run. Mistakes. Oh, no. Chris. Silverius. Pick up Chris. Pick up Chris. Let's go. Silverius, turn around, turn around.
Okay, magic. I think we're okay. We're not okay. What? Where did you come from? No! Where did they come from? I have to abandon. And even then... How am I ever going to make it out of here? That's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon Song with 2. I'll see you next time.